It may not look much, but this half a million pound floating pontoon means visiting cruise line passengers no longer have to negotiate steep steps and choppy conditions to get ashore. Now they can just step on to dry land. There were other developments looked at, but this was the quickest fix, if you like, uh, and we think it gives good value for money, and as the line of business develops, then we might look at other options in the future. There's no doubt that cruising is big business, and this is what it's all about. Large vessels depositing rich guests, spending their money in the local economy. Well, what you have done today with uh, extolling the new pontoon and platforming in here for the Tandas is going to make a tremendous uh, change. Before, we had really problems, especially if the passengers are not really young, to climb up. And with low tide, it was a really hazard. No, I can go back, tell my office, tell the world that uh, Isle of Man has got a new tender facility with function regardless of weather and also regardless of tide, and it was very good. We're going to have um, a lot of pleasure over that, and you will attract more business. But another thing is that if they go ashore and enjoying it, they will remember it, and they could come back and maybe stay here and stay for a long and stay and stay in hotels and do more sightseeing. So it's not only for today, but it's also for the future. Another thing that is important is that the crew members go ashore and they generate normally a lot of business like, uh, you know, like they buy toothpaste, they buy a pair of shoes and things like that. So don't forget the crew members, they're quite important and we have 450 crew members on board. Now, cruising has never been more popular, I mean it, there's a lot of competition to get vessels of your size in here. Is there more that the other man could do to attract you back more often than other vessels of your size? I think you do very well by doing installing this platform and opening it out. That's the beginning. If you in one time can make a pier that we also can go alongside, that will enhance it and it will really be, that will be the ultimate. But I know the weather can be difficult, but uh, the beginning is very good. Next up, make a dock for us. How important is this to have cruise liners coming in? Very important. Uh, we're in competition with many parts of the British Isles. Uh, we go to great lengths to encourage cruise ships to come to the Isle of Man. Uh, they bring a uh, great profile to the Isle of Man. It's a big business market and we have a lot in the Isle of Man which is unique to the cruise passenger. No matter where they'll go in any parts of the world on ships, beautiful cruise liners like this, the Isle of Man presents so much more unique areas of interest for them than we think anywhere else in the world so we're glad that we attract them here we want to attract them here we hope that they'll spend some money here as well but we hope that they'll go back and tell their people uh, their, their, their families how nice the Isle of Man was and just as importantly that the uh, cruise organizers uh, will come back to their uh, companies and say just how good the Isle of Man was, how the people in the Isle of Man welcomed the people, because the Manx people are a welcoming people, and how well the department and the, the government welcomed them to the Isle of Man. Could we say this is, a, this is a bit late in the day? You know, other places have been way ahead of the game on cruise liners, don't you think? Uh, possibly. Having said that, we've been in the cruise business now for some years, and uh, our portfolio is growing each year. There are new shipping companies coming on board all the time who are looking for somewhere different uh, to come. There are a lot more cruise companies now touring the British Isles because it's somewhere a little bit different than the Viking heritage. And we're teeming with uh, unique aspects of our Viking heritage, uh, but also the peace, serenity of the Isle of Man and the weather, we hope, and today is a good day for the people to come ashore. So a great uh, day for, for the Isle of Man to welcome and to see a beautiful ship, a uh, big ship like the Prince and Dam, uh, lying in Douglas Bay with a wonderful backdrop of Douglas Promenade behind. Great for the passengers, great for the people of the Isle of Man, uh, an all-round good luck story.